In this video, I'm going to show you the best console KPM settings so you can have crazy aim, crazy tracking, and crazy mechanics. But before I show you what I can do with these settings, if you're looking for ways to improve, I recommend you try out my only one practice map that has an aim section, peace control sections, and even an edit section. I'm going to leave the code in the description.
Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to get less input delay on console KVM. And what you need to do is go into PlayStation settings. Once you're here, go down, you're gonna see something called. Once you here, click on it, then go into other accessories, and then you're gonna see key repeat delay short, key repeat fast, and then point your speed, put it on normal. Once you have those, you'll be ready to go. And now let's go into my settings. All right, so for my settings, the first thing you want to turn on is 120 FPS mode on. This is going to help you improve, so you're going to be able to see more frames and have less input delay. The next thing is going to be my graphics. I found these to be the best where you can see players from afar and see players in storm really clear. One setting you definitely want to turn off is motion blur. This gives you a ton of delay, which makes your game look blurry and not good. Next for my audio settings is nothing too crazy, but what you want to do is go down into sound. And once you're here, go to visualize sound effects and definitely turn this on. Every pro is using this right now because it's really broken that you can see players from afar and you don't even have to hear them it will just tell you on the screen where the players are at then it's going to be your ping make sure you're using an ethernet cable if you want to lower your ping and obviously play on the closest region for me is NAEs. but let's say if you're playing any central for a tournament that's fine but make sure you're playing on, on an ethernet cable that's going to help you reduce input delay and your ping by a lot once you do that go down into combat and this is really important this is going to help you rank up a lot faster and win more of your early fights and it's called auto pickup weapons this has helped me a lot on 50 50s when i open a chest and you know somebody might have a faster reaction time than me but since i have auto pickup weapons it automatically just grabs it so definitely turn this on then after that go to preferred item slots i also recommend you to have this on this is going to help you win more off spawn fights and it's all about preference for me it's SMG first then shotgun then assault rifle then unassigned and then heals at the end once you do that keep going down into building have recent building choice on decent will pre-edit option off this is so you don't mess up on the edit before you actually do them if that makes any sense then turbo building on hopefully you do have it on because if not then I don't know how you're able to build or even be able to edit because this is the main mechanic that helps you do that auto confirm edits a lot of people ask me whether I use edit and release on or off. And I've also asked a lot of console QBM players their opinion on this, and 90% of them have told me edit and release is the go-to for console KVM. For PC, it's a lot different. I would definitely recommend you to have it off because you're gonna have more control on your piece and on your aim. But on console, it feels like you have less delay and it's more responsible when, when you're trying to edit. Then keep going down, and this is really important, go extra game options, and you're gonna go down into something called low input latency mode. Definitely turn this on just so you have low input delay. Once you do that, keep going down. And this is also super important. Go to replays. Definitely turn these three off. As you can see, I have two of them on. And this is because I play competitive. And after every tournament, I like to bar review my mistakes. But if you're not doing this, definitely turn it off, man. Because it's going to impact your performance and your, your level overall. This is new settings. So I'll turn these off. Next is going to be my reticle. This is so you can have really big and flashy numbers when you crack somebody. And for my HUD skill, I recently went from 73 to 67. And let me tell you guys, it looks so much better. It's so much cleaner. I definitely recommend you to try this. I, I promise it's not going to disappoint. It, it's literally the perfect size to see your guns, the map, and everything. Now we're going into my mouse sensitivity. I'm using 6% on both sides. Targeting sensitivity, 25.5. Scope sensitivity, 26.5. Building sensitivity, 105. And editing, 110. Definitely turn lock input method as mouse off. And for my double movement settings, I recently just went from 73 to 63. And let me tell you guys, I've seen an incredible amount of improvement on my editing skills and my aim because I'm able to move left and right without losing momentum. So I definitely recommend you to give this a try. I promise it's not gonna disappoint. And this is gonna help you improve every area of your playstyle, whether it's aim, piece control, or even crosshair placement. That's really important and that's not talked about a lot. Definitely give this a try and let me know in the comment section. Then mouse sensitivity multiplier, 100%, Ember aircraft off, turning all these settings off because they don't really do much. Then we're going into my keybinds. I'm gonna go slow so you can copy them down. 